Welcome. We're in EdgeCam and we're going to be machining this 3D solid. It's directly loaded from the solid. We do not use translators. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and define the material and the orientation. So we're just going to flip the part over and we're going to set the machine coordinates at the top center and just verify it's there. Now EdgeCam already knows the size of the part, so what we're going to do is fit the stock. As you can see, it presets the values to what it minimum is. We're going to ahead and put in a standard four, 7 by 4 by 2 stock. See the part set on there really nice. Next logical thing is let's put it in the vise or a fixture. So we'll go ahead and check the fixtures out that comes with EdgeCam, and we'll use this 5 axis vise. As you can see, EdgeCam puts it right in the vise, really nice for us, all oriented. We'll go ahead and select that. Next logical step would be to put it in the machine. So we're going to ahead and create a machining sequence, and we'll select our machine from the list. Today we're going to be using a Haas UMC 750, setting on the primary component location. Now as you can see it's placed nicely on the machine with the fixture, with the stock around it, and we're ready to machine. So what we want to do is grab the intelligence from the designs. So we're going to use our automatic feature find. We're going to go find features, pockets, bosses. As you can see that we found a boss and a hole. Now we also have other features on here that we want to find. So we can make that really easy. So EdgeCam allows you to define your own features. First thing we're going to do is go and define the origins so we can do these holes. So that's going to require a couple of indexes, so, which is real easy. We'll go ahead and create our own index points. You can see we can connect any. We're going to let the part define these indexes so we don't have to know this. Well, again, letting the part do the work for us. So we'll go ahead and define the other index and define that again by the part. So we have the two indexes. Now we can go back and create some manual features. So we did the auto feature find. So now we're going to let auto feature find work on the new origins we have. So we select those and say OK. As you can see, the two new pockets were made. Now, at times, you're going to want to be able to do manual feature finds. And so what we want to do is we'll take an example. We want to define that boss or that pocket. So as you can see, we've defined our manual features. So now we're ready to go to machining. Now, since EdgeCam knows the part, knows the features, knows the stock, we should be able to get a reasonable machining plan. So we say plan this job. EdgeCam goes, OK, I know this information. Here's how we would do it. So you can see we would go ahead and apply roughing to the OD so it knows the stock. And we'll do the same thing with the pocket. or we'll rough the pocket out. It's smart enough to know that they will use the same tool, so it used the same tool on both. Next logical thing would be let's rough the indexed pockets, right? So we'll go ahead and select one of those. We'll apply the roughing to that. EdgeCam knows it's on an index, so it automatically indexes over and picks the tool and roughs the part. We'll do the exact same thing for the other. And now the part's roughed. Oh, the part being roughed, let's go ahead and finish the two angled, since we're already indexed to that position. I don't know if you've noticed, but the lower right-hand corner, the clock is actually keeping time of how, it, how long this is taking. So I'd encourage you to rewind the video and watch it again and note the time. It is quick and easy. So at this point, we have our roughing done. 
and our finishing's just about complete. And the only thing I'll be left would be spotting and drilling the holes. Good. Finish the ID. Automatically face the bottom off, so we get a nice clean bottom. And we'll go ahead and drill the holes. As I mentioned before, if you've been watching the clock in the lower right-hand corner, you can see it hadn't taken very long to get to this point. Right. So we've got to this point. Now let's see what our simulation shows us. So we'll go ahead and simulate the part. Edgecam allows you to have full machine kinematics, which we do collision detection against the flute, the shank, the holder, against the stock, the part, the fixture, and the machine. It's showing you the uh, what we call our waveform machining, which is our high efficiency machining toolpath. I don't know if you notice, but when it's tapering and uh, it's going into the hole, it actually tapers down and keeps the tool in a constant engagement. Edge cam automatically indexed the part around. Simulation shows that, and it goes to roughing. Now we'll advance the uh, simulation here to the finish. And finish the part up. And again, machining the bottom. And coming back and finishing the pocket. And drilling the holes. Okay. Producing the CNC code. And yes, it is that quick and that easy. So now let's actually look and see what it's like on the machine. So this is the part actually running on the machine as programmed.